Hey, what's up guys, it's Yvonne. And in this video, I wanna show you how to create a high converting landing page using the best landing page builder there is, which what I have come to found is Unbounce. I have used over a dozen different landing page builders in my past eight years with affiliate and online marketing. And I have found that Unbounce is the best one by far for many reasons that you will come to find out. So what I've done is I went on some websites to find the highest converting landing pages that are out there. And I found a few that we can replicate here and build together in this video to show you exactly how you can do it as well. So using this page here on bounce.com slash landing page examples, high converting landing pages, I can link that in the description. Uh, here's an example landing page, which has almost an 80% conversion rate, which is extremely high guys. And the page looks something like this. So if I zoom in a little bit, pretty simple. Okay. A pretty simple landing page, which is exactly what a landing page is supposed to be it's supposed to be very short, sweet to the point. Or you have another one like this with a 62% conversion rate, which looks something like this. So what we're gonna do in this video is create a page that looks just like this, since it's a little more complicated of the two. And this way you will get an idea for exactly how to create your own high converting landing page. So the first thing you guys have to do is sign up for Unbounce if you don't have an account already. I do, however, have a special discount for you if you sign up using my link. So if you head over to go.evonmana.com slash Unbounce, you will see a page that it looks like this, which will give you 20% off on your first three months or 35% off on your first year, as well as a 14 day free trial. All right. So if you start this trial, at least you will be able to follow along with me and build this high converting landing page that you too can apply and use for your business. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and log in and then we're going to build a page together. A few moments later. And so when you sign in, you will see an interface that looks like this. Of course, you won't see all the different landing pages that I have created here over the years. But what you will do is just click on create new in the top right, right? So make sure you're, you're in this old pages tab and click on create new right over here. And then you can use the smart builder, which is very good and comes with a lot of AI features. I do have a separate video on that. However, in this video, I want to focus on this standard way to build a website, which comes with all the default features you would normally expect from a landing page builder. So we're going to click on start building now. And the first thing you have to do here is select a template, right? So if we want to mimic this page, we can find something that looks slightly similar to this, and then we can just change some things around. So we can come in here and take a look and see what has that little bar at the top, you know, like this, this looks pretty similar. Let's come back here. So this is the 62% conversion rate landing page and we want to mimic it and do something like this over here. All right. So over here, let's say we want to promote a class that teaches Spanish, right? So we could say something like learn Spanish landing page, something like that. And we can click on start. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to change things around here and make it seem something like this. Okay. So you get an idea. So the first thing here is the title. Everything else looks pretty similar as you can see. So you have the logo in the top left right here. You have the phone number here and then you have this main part here. Okay. So that's pretty much what we have here. So we're just going to play around with it just so you can see the different customization options available. So if you want to change your logo, all you have to do is just select it and click on change image right here. All right. So you'll be able to change whatever image you like. Uh, Unbounce also has public images that you can use for free and they have an integration with Unsplash, which is a free and copyright free image site that you can come in here and you can select images and you won't get in trouble for using them. So you can either select images from here or you can just go to my images and you can upload a new image right there and you can upload your logo that way. I'm just going to keep this as is for simplicity, but hopefully you know, you know how that works now over here, you have the phone number. So let's suppose we want to write what they have here. Like, let's suppose we want to write, call us, right? And then we want to say that. So what we can do is we can double click it and we can write something at the top, such as call us. Um, or we could just have added another text element from over here, right? So you have all your elements over here. You have the section, the box, the text, the image, the button, all of these, you can simply drag them right over here and it's just going to show up. You can also adjust each specific element that you have on the page on the right side here. Okay. So you add something new on the left and then you adjust it and customize it on the right. Also make sure to save your page often in case something happens, of course. And then, so if, if we chose this way, what we can do is we can then highlight this part, we can bold it. And then we want to change the, let's say the size for this a little bit, maybe want to make it 20, right? And then we want to reduce the spacing between these. 
So this is gonna be the line spacing right there. We're just gonna reduce it a little bit or maybe a little bit more like that. And then let's suppose we want to call us or let's suppose we want everything to be in black, right? So we're just gonna select all that and the text color, we're gonna make it black. We're gonna say choose and there you go. And then we could make the numbers a little bit more realistic like that, let's say. And then I still don't like the, the line height there, so the line spacing, sorry, so I'm just gonna reduce it even more. What you could also do is you could sometimes manually enter. So if you don't see a size, for example, that you like, you can go in and manually enter, let's say 23, right? Or let's say 72, you can say 100, right? So I'm gonna go back, I'm going to undo what I did here, or Control Z if you're on Windows, or Mac Z if you're on a Mac. Uh, and that should be good. Now let's suppose we also wanna center the call us. We can just select that and say align, right? And uh, with this way, if you have everything in one box, everything is gonna be centered. So if you wanna kind of differentiate the different boxes, the different text, I suggest just adding a different text block here, okay? So we have that, that looks pretty good. So now let's go ahead and change this part here, right? So we can change the image, we can change the text. So for the text, uh, the rule of thumb is make it short and sweet, right? Very simple. So we can say something like learn Spanish quickly, something like that. You could also expand the box right here if you want it, um, if you want it to take up just one line as opposed to two, right? So that looks good. I think this is a little too big, so we can also make it a little smaller like that. And then, so as you can see here, you know, a good landing page, I can see why the conversion rate is so high for this one because it's very short, sweet, and to the point. So we wanna do the same thing here. So learn the top 200 words you need um, in just 20 minutes, something like that, okay? Let's example, uh, let's imagine such, such a thing exists, which I'm sure it does. Uh, then we wanna make this bigger again, right? So we wanna play with the text size. However, for this one, we do wanna increase the line spacing a little bit. So it looks like that. And then we can also adjust the text to be white, to be black, right? So we wanna make sure it's visible. So what we're gonna do after we finish this is actually change the image, and then we'll be able to adjust the word uh, color to make sure that we can actually see it. So we have that. Now we're gonna put this here. So. Uh, you know, call to action, generally the ideal call to action, or sorry, the ideal button has a call to action, like start now, get started now, try now, right? So over here we could say maybe, um, over here we have the text, we can say start your free trial now, right? You can do something. So you can also adjust the size, the style, everything here, maybe we wanna make it bold like that. Maybe we also want to add a little arrow like that. And then if you wanna make the uh, button bigger, you can just increase it. So this is one of the reasons I like Unbounce. It's just so, so, so flexible. And you can move things around anywhere on the page just like that. You're not constrained to certain blocks or anything like that, right? So super, super simple. And then we can also make the size of this a little bit bigger. And of course, we could also change the text, the family of the text, and we can add remove additional text. So we can search for them here and we can add them whatever we need. They have a lot, obviously. So you can go ahead and find one that is suitable for your business. So that looks good, right? Looks pretty similar to that, I'd say, right? Looks good. Maybe we can bold it if we want to. The only concern is, where's the bold right here? that this isn't too easy to read right now, right? Because it's white on white, but we're gonna change the image here in a second. Let me just re reduce the size a little bit as well, maybe 22, okay. So that looks good. So now we wanna change the background image just like they have over here, right? So we wanna do it something to do with maybe people having fun, people talking. So what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna click anywhere here in this little box. And then we're gonna look for this option that says change image. We're gonna click here. And then we can go to Unsplash Images. I believe they have a bit more options here when it comes to that. Unsplash, and we could type something in. People maybe traveling. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so that looks cool. Um, but what would work for people learning Spanish, right? So maybe people, let's say people talking, right? So maybe something like this, like any of these are good, are fine. We could try maybe... Right, this is just an example, of course, you guys can take the time to find a perfect image. I'm just gonna say choose for that one. And then this is the image that will be in our background. The other cool thing I like about Unbounce is that you can actually change the opacity for this, right? So I think this actually looks really cool. I'm really happy with this page. We're gonna 
decrease that. And then to select all of these elements, by the way, you can select one and then shift click the others, and then you can just move them all together. And Unbounce also has these cool little lines here, as you can see the green line, which indicates that, hey, you're smack dab in the center, right? So this actually looks really good. I'm actually pretty happy with this right now. What you could also do, like I said, what I like about Unbounce is if you click on, again, the background image, you click on advanced settings, you have all these different opacity settings, right? So by default, they make it a little more opaque so that you can actually see the letters, right? Alternatively, if you make it white, you can make the text black and that, that could work as well. So that's an option. You can also click underlay, overlay. Uh, we're not gonna mess around with that for now. So we're just gonna make it opaque. And then what you could also do is you can add a parallax effect. So when you scroll, the image kind of stays there as opposed to scrolling up as well, right? So notice the difference. When I scroll down, the image kind of stays there in place as opposed to when I don't do that, um, it doesn't, right? And the other thing here is you can play around with the position as well. So if you're unhappy with the way this looks, right? you can put the image in a different position because obviously it's a large image, right? So it can't fit everywhere. So let's see if we, yeah, so that looks good. Yeah, so I like that. Okay, so we're good with that. Now let's go to the next part here. So they have a bunch of different logos here, uh, which is kind of similar here. We could do the exact same thing or we could kind of keep it as is. Um, I actually like this. So we can keep it, but what you would do if you do wanna do something like this is, well, actually, why don't we just add a section? Look here, we can add a section here, we can drag it here, we can make it smaller like that. We could select the section, we could say color black, right? That's or it's grayish, not that black, so maybe dark grayish like that. And then what you can do is then you can add all these different images, right? So you can go ahead and grab an image, place it here and then say, um, I don't know, premium quality vintage, how about that, right? Just as an example, at least. Well, this is actually pretty dark, so it's not gonna work. And I don't think there's a way to like change the image color, because that, be, that would be crazy. Let's see if there's anything else we could find. Oops, bounce public images. Yeah, so these are all dark, and I don't think there's a lighter one. But these are some things that you would make custom, right, for your site, so um, or like these maybe? No, there's, they're, they're dark as well. You can scale image to fit. Yeah, so, but that's basically how you would do it, right? And then you can just make the image smaller, make it bigger like that. Um, there are no images right now, of course, in here. Um, you would have to custom make them, uh, ones that are white, but that's basically how you would do it. And then what you could do is you could control C, control V to paste, or just select the element and click copy and then paste. And then you would have it here. So copy, paste, you can move it here copy paste, right? And then boom, all of a sudden. So now all you have to do is just replace these images with your actual logo, right? Or alternatively, if we make this whole thing white, just for simplicity, we can see we can do that. And then we can double click that element, click on unbalance public images. And then boom, now we can select that. Um, we can scale image to fit. And then this works. Now what you could also do is you can click on edit mask and that way it shows right part of it or just the whole image, or you can remove mask entirely, and that way it's gonna show everything. So it's gonna show the entire image as opposed to just showing a part of it. So we can double click this again. We can come in, sorry, on bounce public images, and let's say we wanna do this one here. We can say choose, uh, let's say don't scale, and then we can just manually make it a little smaller. And that's basically the process, right? So that's how you would go around and do that, and then you could look for that green line again to make sure everything is centered like that and make it centered. What you could also do is play around with the size over here and the position manually if that's what you wanna do. So this makes it very, very precise and very specific, right? So that looks pretty good. I mean, might as well as just do these as well. Sorry, I keep getting confused. Let's just put in some random ones and then we can just manually make them smaller like that. Come in here, find something else. Did we do this one? No and say don't scale, and then we can just manually make it smaller, it's easier. And then yeah, so that's how we would do it. We make it a little bit bigger. And then what you could also do is use the arrows to do the smaller changes, right? So let's put something like that. And then this one, put here. So something like that, okay? So just to give you an idea, so it looks quite similar to this. Obviously, they have custom made ones, but I'm just trying to make it look nice and neat. And again, if you want to be super, super specific, what you can do is you can use these elements here to say like, okay, that we want the position here to be, you know, 
100 points apart. So here you have 305, here you could maybe have 505, right? And then we do this one, let's say 705. All right, so I went ahead and just made it a little, a little bit more even. Uh, by the way, if you don't like the width of the page itself, you can also adjust it by dragging it like that. And now all of a sudden your page is a little smaller, right? Or you can make it bigger as well and just drag it a little bit further, right? And so now it's taking up more space. And I'm just gonna undo all that just because I think the way it was looked good. I think it's like that. And we're good, okay? So we're gonna hit save. And then let's go to the next part, which is this. So it has some text and then it has, I believe this is like an image or something, or maybe this is an image. And then they just wrote some text on it. Okay, so we can try to do something like that. Uh, and then another button and then small text. Okay, so let's do something like this. So let's go in and let's see. So we decided to leave this because I think it looks good. Um, I think that looks good too, but let's suppose we wanna delete a section. So we're just gonna select it and then click delete. Okay, and now that's gone. And we can leave this for now, but let's go ahead and drag another section right underneath here. And then we're gonna start, so we're, let's, let's make it bigger. And then we're gonna start by dragging the text box and writing something about it, right? So maybe a little description about what, what this is. So this is in white, by the way, let's make it black so we can actually read it. And then we're gonna say, let's say the fastest Spanish course there is, something like that, okay? Then we can drag it over here. It's it's actually a little more descriptive, but we can leave it as is. We can make this a little smaller, 18. Looks good, okay, let's just leave it like that. And then we wanna look for that green, right? The little green line you see there to indicate that everything's even. What you could also do is make it like that and then drag it here so that it kind of fits nice and tight. There you go, okay? so. We're on our way. And then over here, we would probably add a few images. So this is one whole image, probably custom made that they have. So what I'm gonna do instead is just drag an image here and look for, let's say, one. Let's see if we type one in here. Let's say number one. Let's say in here, number one. Okay, so maybe something like that uh, we can use just for simplicity purposes, but uh, you would obviously, you could go online as well and find something that makes more sense for you, right? So for the purpose of this, let's just go in and find, let's say this one. So we can just double click it. Then we could say use full size and then we can just adjust it manually or we could have said scale, either one's fine. So something like that, I just went ahead and made it smaller. Now what we could also do is we could copy and paste it Let's come in here and let me just quickly see if I can find a number two one, right? Because we want to make sure it's like the same style, ideally. So that looks good. So we're just going to double click that. And then we can do something similar to this, right? So step one, step two, step three. This time we can say scale image to fit. So it fits within that box. And then we can go ahead and copy it again, paste it here, and then double click it and then say number three. There you go. And it's nice that they're all the same type. So it's gonna load, we're gonna scale image to fit and this looks good, I actually like it. Mm, maybe the color could have been a little more matching with this, but you know, perfection and stuff, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then what we can do is if we want them all to be the same size, right? So first of all, you can see with the green line that they're all aligned, but let's suppose we want the same distance to be between them, right? Then we would use this as well. So from the top of this section, it is 150 pixels. Then this one is 266, so let's say we, we do it 250, and then this one we can do 350. So now they're all equally, exactly equally spread apart, okay? And then we can add text element over here. We can come in here and we can say, okay, step one, sign up on our website, for example, right? Let's imagine there is a website or let's imagine the button will take them somewhere, which we have to do as well. And then we can drag it here, kind of like what they have there, except we can make this, let's reduce the size a little bit, you know, to make it look like, well, that's a little too small. Remove the bold. You can also, like I said, change the font family. Maybe Georgia, you know, just for a little variety. Um, maybe something like that looks good, right? Maybe we can actually select all these and then drag them a little bit more towards the middle. Something like that. And then we can probably make this bigger as well, just because there's space. Okay, so that's fine. So sign up on our website, step two. I'm gonna copy and paste and come over here. 
and make sure it I, I see the little green line to make sure it's centered and um, well in this case the green line would be here because the element starts there so this won't be oh yeah like that that's actually perfect and then we can say let's say sign up on our website let's say select select your topic or something like that right and then I'm going to copy control C control V for simplicity and then select your topic learn within 20 minutes something like that okay I'm just making stuff up as I go just so we can get through this but that's the idea now if we want to make it a little more even right there so there you have it we can make it smaller let's see what else here oh and then we have a button okay so let's add a button here so the button will be over here so we can go ahead and drag that make it bigger and we can say here now you can't double click the button as I just tried but uh, you would click here get started now right and we can add a little arrow like that or you could add a custom one a custom little emoji or something like that and then what we could do is we could make so if we want the button for example to be the same color as this right what we can do is go on and this one has a gradient so we can say just one solid color underlay color and we might need a little color picker tool so you might have to go in and use an extension or use some sort of uh, way to find out what the, this color is and then you would be able to add it here but that's basically the idea so this one's actually a little darker red so maybe something like this right match a little bit more even though it's not the same but you get the idea so let's make the button like this and then we can make this a little bigger as well get started now okay so something like this okay you know what I'm just gonna use the same color here um, same color as this now this is a gradient doesn't look like a gradient Actually, blue looks fine. So I'm just gonna copy, sorry, perfection stuff and paste it and now it's the same color, that's fine. And then we want this to be the same as the other one, so that was bolded, right? So get started now, so something like this. And then we had a little disclaimer, so we can add it here and then look for the green and then say, you know, disclaimer, results not guaranteed. Um, all depends on what you do and how much you do or something like that we can select all that we can reduce the size of that because it's like a little small disclaimer like that and then maybe change the color right because these disclaimers they're they're sneaky sneaky right and then we want to reduce the line spacing as well that's a little too little maybe 18 something like this right look for the green line so that it's centered boom okay so there you go so it looks very very similar i mean not exactly but most of the stuff here is custom made right so you would have to go in and do it but hopefully by now you have an idea for how that's done um, then this would be the same thing types of business insurance so it's actually you know similar to this so what we can do we can also move the section okay so if we want to make it look exactly like that we can just simply drag this section scroll down and then paste it here right and then it's like that and then it looks pretty much the same as that if you don't want to do that what you can do is you can just copy and paste these elements into this very same section like what they have here so if you want to do that right so then we can just again control or uh, shift click all of these elements and then boom drag them in here so very very simple to do like i said like i love unbalances just it's so so easy 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 to use guys so simple Click funnels, for example, is great, but you have these certain boxes that you have to put things into, right? So it's not as flexible. Then you have that. Okay, so let's see if we can do, if we can keep that. So then I'm gonna select this section, we're gonna delete it. This looks good. The logo at the bottom looks good, all that legal stuff. So let's suppose we wanna add this stuff, right? Need more detail, read our FAQs. So that is over here. And by the way, what you could also do is put different elements into boxes. So for example, you can put a box over here, right? And then this is just gonna be so much easier moving forward because now you can, for example, shift click all these, put them in here in this little box, this little container, right? And then whenever you wanna drag it, you just drag the whole container. So it's very, it's much easier. And then we wanna center it. So look for the green, right? Both green, see the green from the top and the green from the left, which means it's both centered from the top and from the left, right? And then boom, just like that, right? We could also remove the border. As you can see, the border here is a little gray. So we can do just say none and you can't see it, right? But it's just so much easier to move around. And you can do the same for these other ones as well if you like, but we're just gonna keep it as is here. However, what we will do is write the little disclaimer. So we can add, or not the disclaimer, but the 
need more detail read our FAQ. So let's do that. So let's say need more detail read our FAQs and then we can oops what happened here okay I'm gonna save and then refresh the page oh there it is sometimes if that happens you just save and then refresh the page and things are normal but, and then we're gonna make this black right need more detail and then it's bold as well in the other one and then maybe a little bit bigger maybe 18 and then we're gonna stretch it out like that right need more detail read our FAQs and then we have three different lines here, right? So we can have three different things. So we can say, let's say, how much does this cost or something like that? And then we don't want this to be bold. And then I'm gonna show you how to hyperlink it as well, but let's say you wanna make it a little bit smaller. So something like this, and then we're gonna, oops. So when you paste it, it pastes it at the top of that section. So you just have to go up and change it and then we want to center like that um, we want to center this as well actually this is why you want to make sure that you make it as tight as possible so that they're both when you center them it's both equal right so that's why you want to make sure they're equal so just like that so how much does this cost and then this one you can say like is there a money back guarantee something like that make this bigger and then drag this here. And then, you know, for simplicity, let's just keep two. And then if you wanna hyperlink it, you're just gonna select all this. So you're gonna double click that. You will go into action and then you will select the URLs. So let's say the URL is, let's say we're taking people to my website so that it works, ivanmana.com. And then you can do it in the same tab or a new tab, so up to you. So usually new tab, I prefer better. And then this will now highlight this with a blue, right? So if you wanna make it um, bluish like that, you can also just select the whole text and then say text color, make it like, like that, right? Yeah, looks pretty good. And then we can copy that text color, come back over here and then enter that and do the same thing. And then we could also come back here and select everything. And then we say action and then say, hey, we want people to go to this URL, right? Yvonnemana.com slash, or let's just say Yvonnemana.com and a new window. And then boom, right? So now these will take people to that. Now, however, we wanna, we just wanna double click that again or um, click on the text color again so it changes the line as well, right? So the line is also the same color. And again, it's the same thing they have here. Just pick the color you want. And we can drag it like that. And then one of them isn't centered, I think is this one. Let's, let's center that. And there you go. And then this, there you go, okay, so that looks more centered, that looks good. We can move this box a little bit higher. We can select all that and move this a little bit higher as well. And move this a little higher like that as well, okay? So this looks very, very similar to, I think, the page that we, that we were looking at, the 63% one, right? Now the main thing is kind of finding the audience. And then last but not least here, we have this where it's just, again, the call to action button and the question, so this looks okay. You can change it if you want to, maybe change the image, but I think this looks fine. It's just a slightly different idea, but obviously if you wanna do it the same as this, you just delete the image, right? Make it one color over here. Actually, let me show you. So if you select from image, you just go to solid color and then you can select the color you want. So in their case, they have like a purple. Oof. Well, they have a gradient, I think. So it would be gradient here. And then you could say, um, base color is like this one, but then the top is that and the bottom is this, right? So this is a little more pink actually. So let's select pink here. And then it goes from left to right here. And if you want to unlock it, you do that and then you can actually manually select. So if you wanna make it a little lighter there, a little darker here, you can do that. You can drag this here. This would look better for sure if it was white. And then we do that, combine form and function, right? And then we have the call to action button right here. So I'm not gonna spend time changing that because I think you know how to already um, change the call to action button, right? Change the words there and change the words here. So we're just gonna leave it like that. But this is basically it, right? Now, one more thing we didn't do is change the button as well itself. So if you click on the button, like any button, let's say this one, uh, you would change the URL here, right? So if you wanna do the same URL, ivanmana.com, and then you wanna make sure you click somewhere else so it kind of saves, and then hit save. And then you would do the same thing 
Uh, you can do same tab or window again. You can come in here, do the same thing, and then just click anywhere else so it kind of registers that. And then come here to the bottom and do the same thing. And so that's basically how you create these um, text and the buttons that will take you somewhere, right? Now, one more thing before we go is you can also do changes on mobile, right? So what you wanna do is just look through mobile as well and make sure that it looks good if you're, of course, promoting there. And normally it's going to um, use this layout assistant, right? So what you can do is click this option and Unbounce will automatically go in and just make the changes to everything, right? If you think the size of the text, for example, is too big, you can just select it and adjust the font size here on mobile only, right? And that will only adjust it here because mobile is different obviously and then you can come in here now for the button if you change the button size it will only adjust on the mobile so if you go over here and make it 16 if you come over here this stays at 22 okay so but then over here we want to make it a little bit bigger like that make it a little shorter like that and that looks good right so you with mobile, you just basically want to go through all of these and make sure it all looks good, it all fits, right? You would have to change the image, however. I'm not sure why the image didn't get changed, which is quite odd, actually, but you would just come in here, click on image, and then select the same image, say choose, and boom, now it's the same image. And that looks about right. So obviously, if people will be using something a little bigger than a phone, like a iPad or something, then more of this will be shown, right? It will be more similar to desktop as opposed to mobile. And so you can come in through here. Let's say, you know, this doesn't look too good placed like that so we're just gonna adjust the position again we're gonna adjust it like that like that and then we're gonna drag this a little bit like this now this is a mess right so you would have to come in here and just adjust it so the first part we said was this we want to drag that up we want to remove the we want to I mean if we could put it all in one line that would be great something like this right then we can go in here and select, let's see, how how did it look like on here? So one, two, three, sign up on our website, yes. Yeah. So and then you would have one, two, three. You can also make these smaller on mobile as well. Come in here, make it smaller, wait for the green line, right, to know that it's that it'll be the same. Then for this, we wanna remove the font as well, or sorry, reduce the font. Uh, then we're within 20 minutes, and then move this one here, make it smaller, boom, right? And then that looks pretty accurate think something like that yeah looks pretty accurate select your topic basically you would just go in here and just do that right you can also make it smaller like that so you don't have to manually go in and reduce the text size and sorry sign up on our website is first so let's put that here and then learn within 20 minutes, right? Or no, this was last. And this one was here. And then this one is here. So that's the idea. I mean, obviously you can make it perfect, right? You can make it all fit, but this is how you would do it. And then you could go in here and adjust the rest of the stuff. I'm not gonna spend too much time. Uh, idea is to kind of show you the idea, right? If you have any code that you want to add, you would just add it here under JavaScript. You would say add new code and you would add it here, all right? Uh, you also have goals. This is conversion goals. So if you want to track, like if somebody clicks on these links, these buttons, that will be considered a conversion, right? So this is how Unbounce will be able to track and make it easier for you. So we can hit save. We can also hit preview the page if you want to see what it's like. But instead, I'm going to go to back to overview and I actually want to publish this page, right? So what we're going to do is just click on publish right over here. We're going to say publish page. and it's got a nice little hyperspace animation. And then if we wanna open the page URL, you can choose, by the way, what the path you want. So unboundspages.com slash page path, you can click on save, and then we'll be able to see what it looks like. So, oh, sorry, we have to click open a new tab. And then this is our page, right? This is our landing page. So congratulations, and then if you click on any one of those, as we said, it should take us to my website right over here. So I'm gonna close out of that. And so that's basically it. So congratulations, guys. You have successfully created your own landing page with, in my opinion, the best landing page builder there is right now. And there are additional options you can do, guys. So you can use pop-ups and sticky bars. There are certain integrations like email marketing, domains, if you wanna set up your own domain, of course, instead of the unbalancedpages.com. I do have separate videos on that, so check those out. I will link them in the description. Alternatively, just let me know in the comments what you want the video on. But this should basically cover everything and 
and this here is your page. So if you go back into old pages, learn Spanish landing page, you can click here. There are other cool options here as well. For example, you can create a new variant, right? So you can actually split test and then see which one does better. And I really like the unbounced built in conversion rate feature. So you tell them what you want to track and they're just going to track it right so really really cool stuff guys hope this was helpful for you if you enjoyed this video i do invite you to check out my website at ivanmana.com where i offer you a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide as well as detailed training courses to help you make money online with these various paid ad networks and of course if you want to get started with unbounce and get the free trial and the 20 percent off all you guys have to do is head over to go.ivanmana.com slash unbounce to get that all right that is all for this video thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one